Hello everyone! Today I'm going to soft mod my original Wii using the letter bomb exploit to add both the homebrew channel and boot me. The most up to date guide on hacking the Wii can actually be found at Wii.guide, so I'll leave the link below. Now for this particular mod, all you need is a Wii console and an SD card. If you're unfamiliar, the homebrew channel lets you add unofficial games and software to your Wii. I need it for a future project where I'll be soft modding a GameCube but there are plenty of other uses. Just be warned that if something goes wrong, this could brick your system and make it completely unusable. With that out of the way though, let's get started. First thing you need to do is go into your Wii settings and find your Mac address. I actually lost the footage of me doing this, but it's under Wii settings, internet, console information. Once you have the Mac address, you go to please.hackme.com, again linked below, and enter the MAC address, then click either cut the red wire or cut the blue wire, it really doesn't make a difference, and you'll see a zip file start downloading. That's the letter bomb exploit. Extract that zip file and copy the files over to your SD card, pop it in the Wii, and boot it up. Now when you click the letter icon and look around a few days before or after the current date for some mail, you should see the letter bomb. My first attempt, which you're seeing now, failed, probably because my SD card was way too big, so I tried it again after creating a smaller partition, so it was under 2 gigs in size. Uh, as you can see when I tried it again, there's the letter bomb. So clicking on it will start the HackMe installer. You have to wait at this warning screen for about 30 seconds before you can press 1 to continue. I'm going to just speed up the video so we don't have to wait. The first thing I'll install is the homebrew channel so I can start loading unofficial software and games. Once that's done, I'll install BootMe to boot to and iOS. If you don't have the option to install to boot to, that's okay. It just means you have fewer avenues to recover your Wii if anything goes wrong. Boot Me is essentially there to give you the ability to back up and restore your Wii NAND, so you can make it almost unbrickable. Also, to install Boot Me, you do need an SD card, so I took the one I used for Letterbomb, cleared out the partitions, reformatted it to its full size, and then popped it back in. Then I just followed the prompts. After installing to boot 2, I did the same to iOS. Upon exiting, the homebrew channel loads up. I will exit the system menu and now you can see the homebrew channel icon in my list of Wii software. If I shut down the system and restart it, I end up in this boot me menu. Note that wireless controllers don't work here, so if you don't have a wired controller, like a GameCube controller connected to controller port 1, uh, you're going to have to navigate using the power button and the reset button. So power moves between options, reset selects an option. Here I just hit the reset button to get back to the system menu. Alright, so now that we've got BootMe and the Homebrew channel, we have lots of options for unofficial software and games. You should probably follow the guide on Wii.guide to create a NAND backup before you start adding anything, just so that way you can restore to the current state in case any software breaks anything. I'll do more with this later on, but for now, thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next one.